everyone, my name is Nikita and in today's video we will be talking more about the jobs that you can apply for as an international student, what is the payment or what is the salary that you can expect through a job and where do you find these jobs. Now in my previous video I made a video related to the four key steps that you need to follow to get a job as soon as possible as an international student in the UK. And if you are interested in that content, I am just going to leave the link right above over here right now. But you will also find the link in the description box below. So not wasting any more time, let's go into today's content. So the first most important thing in that as an international student in the UK that you would need to start working is obviously a bank account and an NI number. Now, if you do not have an NI number, please give a call to the number shown above and request them to start the process for your NI number so that you can start working as a part-time professional in the UK. The second most important question that comes in students' heads is how much are we going to be paid? So obviously, in the UK, they have a system known as the minimum wage system. That is, based on your age, they will provide you with a certain minimum salary that you require to live in the UK. So, if you are someone between 16 to 20 years of age, you will be paid £6.45 per hour. If you are between 21 to 25 years of age, you will be paid £8.2 per hour. And if you are someone above 25 years of age, you will be paid £8.70 per hour. Now, obviously, these are the minimal rates that exist and that you should be paid. But if you are working, you may also be paid higher rates based on what the job looks like. For example, if you are a bartender or if you are a waitress or a waiter in a restaurant, you may also be paid additional tips. Or if you are working in a grocery store or in a off-license shop and you are doing some night hours or night shifts, you may be paid additional pay in uh, support of your basic pay. So obviously these are ways to just earn additional income while you are studying in the UK as an international student. Now the third most important question that arises in our heads is how many hours do we work for as an international student? So as you will see on your visa and on your BRT, it says that you are allowed to work for about 20 hours during term time per week. So that means that during a week you can work for 20 hours. So what happens when there is no term time? So during the holiday season or if there are holidays and it's not term time such as summer vacation, you can work for up to 40 hours per week. So these periods are really good for boosting your income and for gaining that additional income as an international student that can help you to meet your costs of living in the UK. And finally, in the last part of today's video, I would like to discuss what are the kind of jobs that are available out there as an international student. So the first and the most important kind of jobs are obviously customer service jobs or sales jobs, as I would call them. So these are jobs related to where you will be interacting very closely with the customers in and around a shop. For example, bigger supermarkets such as Sainsbury's, Tesco's, Aldi, or even in certain retail shops such as Primark, PK Maxx, JD Sports, Adidas, Nike, or even in some of the SIM card shops such as Vodafone 3, you will be associated very closely with working with the customers. For example, in the grocery shop, you may be filling up the shelves, restocking them or working as a cashier. In the sales shops, you will be helping customers find a good item or you will be telling them the prices of certain items. And this helps you to not only build your confidence, but also helps you to build on your communication skills while working in the UK. Now, the second kind of jobs are those in the restaurant industry or in the fast food industry. So these are jobs that you will find in smaller or bigger restaurants such as uh, McDonald's, KFC, Burger King or even the local restaurants and pubs where you get to be a waiter or a waitress or you get to be a cashier. Now, these jobs are again quite good and they may also help you to get some side pay in the form of tips. Now, the third kind of jobs are the agency jobs where you are actually employed by a particular agency to go and work. And these jobs are usually such as working as a teaching assistant, a healthcare assistant, or maybe even a nanny. So these are jobs where you are expected to take care of another individual. Now, just a word of caution, in jobs where you are expected to take care of others, what usually happens in the UK is that you have to run through a check known as the DBS, which is the Disclosure Barring Service. 
This gives the police the authority to run a criminal background check for you and it usually costs some amount of money. Now, if you are doing this through the agency, what happens is that you need to pay up for this money for this check by yourself. And usually when you work for the agency for say about 20 hours to 40 hours, they usually would reimburse the money back to you. So please keep this in mind if you are looking to apply for any agency jobs where you are expected to take care of other individuals. And finally, the fourth kind of job that is available for an international student are those in and around the university. So these are jobs such as being a library, being an assistant for a research project, or even being an international student or a student ambassador, or being a helping hand around the cafe in the university. So these are jobs that you will find in and around your campus, and I would definitely urge you to start your job search there. Always try and inquire with the student union what are the jobs available through them once you reach university or once you attend your introductory course in your university. So that was all about the jobs related to an international student in the UK. And if you like this video, please do not forget to hit the like button. But also, if you would like more content related to student life in UK, some of the best tips that I can share from my personal experience and living and adjusting to UK as an international student and as a working adult, please, please, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you have any thoughts or questions from today's video and would like to leave any feedback related to the video, please do not forget to leave them down in the comment section below. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching you all. Take care. Bye -bye.